Hey guys, um, today is a bit of a harder video to make, but I really think it's important to, as you know, show the good and the bad sides of mental health and mental illness and just like, don't just get on here when everything's great and happy and all that stuff. So, um, I'm just, just got ready to go out. I have the day off today. I'm going to be seeing some friends later, but right now I'm currently in kind of mixed episodes. So I started off the morning like very up, very manic, things like that. And then it started to combine with more depressive symptoms. And I'm finding myself in this weird kind of mix of in between today, which is not, honestly, I think it's the most uncomfortable state because when you're depressed, you're just kind of in that constant sadness or numbness and it sucks, but you're just kind of in one state of being. And then when you're more like, in my case, hypomanic, you can feel good, you can feel euphoric. Um, you know, there can be bad components to it of course, impulsivity, things like that, but um, sorry for all the noise outside, uh, but when you have kind of like the combination of both, it's it's tough, it's tough, um, but anyways, in terms of medicine updates, um, I'm currently now at 100 milligrams of uh, Lamotrigine, sorry about all the noise, I'm very agitated today and anxious, um, gonna be just a raw video I swear to god uh anyways okay so I hope the prison's okay but jeez um what was I saying yes so this is <laughs> I guess what they would call a mixed episode dysphoric hypomania um it really is a combination of both and yes I was giving you an update about the meds so I'm having a lot of memory <laughs> trouble. I'm not even joking. Like, I swear to God, like, I've been forgetting things. I've been using the wrong words and sentences. It's pretty annoying, but honestly, like, it's something that's bearable. For a while there, I was getting really, really, really bad headaches. And um, it's that was awful. Like, I missed work a few times just because of, like, migraine level headaches. And it was really, really bothering me. But then as I got the dose up to 100 milligrams, which is a therapeutic dose, those actually... Um, pretty much completely faded out and honestly for the most part I've been feeling good I was losing a lot of sleep the last few days so I'm not sure if that precip precipitated a hypomanic episode or if it was the other way around um the way I can kind of tell is if I have very little sleep and then I wake up the next day and I feel well rested that's usually a sign that I'm already in a hypomanic state but let's say I'm losing sleep, I'm waking up tired, and eventually it becomes a hypomanic state. It's kind of like the other way around, you know what I mean? So I think I was actually just in like a hypomanic state. Um, and then due to that, I wasn't sleeping well and things like that. So last night, I took a bunch of melatonin, I knocked myself out, and I got a better sleep. But um, I think it's really hormones that are causing the depressive symptoms, and so that combined with the the up phase, which is probably from upping my meds and upping the titration, it's a very, 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 very unpleasant in between. And, you know, I just want to talk about this because I swear to God, I search up all the time on YouTube, like hypomania and mixed episodes and things like that. And there's definitely videos out there, but there's not a lot. And I really, since I've always wanted to be open and honest and real about mental health, it's like I strive to do that so much. It's like, when I look and I can't find these things, it angers me because it's like, it's important because as I was going through this process and I was trying to learn more about these things and understand, like, aside from the literature and the scientific articles and things, you want to also hear other people's experiences, see what kind of side effects they get from medication, see what it's like for them to be in certain, like, mood states, things like that. And so I want to be able to add to that on YouTube, even though it's, it's hard, it's embarrassing, like this video I'm thinking back to before, but it's like... This is raw. I don't edit my videos. I'd rather show my agitation, my anxiety, you know, the things that I experience when I'm in certain states of being and, you know, so today I've been just like rapidly like <laughs> running around cleaning up. I hope that going out today will distract me and make me a bit happier to see friends and just to uh, just get out of the house, things like that. So um, yeah, I just wanted to basically update you on the medicine, what things have been looking like and feeling like, and uh, 
yeah, I hope to talk to you fresh gem soon. And if you wanted to leave any comments or let me know how you're doing, that's always appreciated. All right, bye guys.